Hi everyone, this is me Satyan Sharma. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to discuss those five biggest mistakes that can ruin your JEE mains 2022. See, if you are a JEE 2023 aspirant, then this video is also a must watch for you. Why? Because the more earlier you will work upon your mistakes, the more better rank you are going to secure in JEE mains as well as in JEE advance. I am going to talk about my five biggest mistakes and you can learn from it and definitely work upon it. You have at least two months. So you can definitely improve your rank in JEE mains 2022. So the first mistake is rushing towards books. We have a general tendency during the start as well as during the end of our preparation that we go to market and purchase four to five books of a particular subject and sort 10 to 20 questions from each book. But actually you are gaining only 30 or 40 percent of knowledge from that particular chapter. Why? Because all those 20 questions start 20 questions of those particular books are the easiest questions of that particular chapter. So I would say to you, ki stick to one particular book, solve all the questions of that particular book and then jump to another book. I had already given one of my example. I had solved Singage 70%. After solving that 70% Singage, I jumped on to Vikas Gupta sir black book before even solving that 30% Singage problem. So I definitely faced problems in some basic topics of mathematics. So don't mistake, make this mistake. Second point is analysis. Mock test analysis is very important part in our JEE mains preparation, you can definitely improve at least 20 to 30 marks in your JEE mains real examination just by analyzing mock tests. See, syllabus completion is a different thing. Most of you must be scoring 120 marks at, in mock tests right now after completing 80% of the syllabus. So just think that you will complete 20% of the syllabus in the next two months and with analysis, you can improve 20 to 30 marks. So overall, you can at least get 160 to 170 marks in your real J mains examination, right? I had scored around 136 marks in my first J mains attempt. And as it was one of the toughest shift of that particular month, so I got 96.9 percentile. But after anal analyzing mock test for the rest four month, I improved my score from 96 to 96.9 to 98.25 percentile. That is from 136 marks to 192 marks. Now just wonder if I had got 192 marks in my first attempt, then I would have got 99.3 or 99.4 percentile. So this is a very bonus point that you should focus on your first attempt. Third and a very important part is consistency. Most of us lose consistency during the end of our preparation. Uh, if your target is 100 percent and you are sitting at 90 percent, then we generally tend to ignore that 10 percent gap. But trust me, toppers don't do it. They complete the syllabus and after that only they enjoy while we sit at 90% and just enjoy that we are ahead of the crowd. But right now everyone is making efforts because you have got time. So don't waste your precious time and be consistent towards your preparation. See that one month before your J means is very important. Even I lost my progress during the last one month of my J preparation due to which I had a dip in my mock test scores as well as in my real J mains score. So don't do this mistake. Fourth is distractions. Avoid all societal distractions as well as social distractions or social distraction in the sense social media distractions. Stop using Instagram. Stop using uh, WhatsApp and all that. Limit your screen time to at least uh, or at most I would say three to four hours. If you are not attending online classes, if you are attending online classes, then that must be around four to five hours, then plus three to four hours. So around seven to eight hours should be your screen time at this particular moment, right? Okay. So limit your screen time. There is a setting in mobile where you can view a screen time. So just go and view it at the end of your day and just see how much progress you have made since the last day. Fifth and the most important mistake is overconfidence as well as an underconfidence. See, 90% of the students face these two problems, either of the uh, two, either overconfidence or underconfidence. I particularly faced underconfidence. Why? Because when you are surrounded by a group of people who go to coaching institutes, you are tend to get demotivated if you are not going to coaching institute or if you are doing self study, then we have uh, a kind of thinking that coaching institute students will perform better than this due to which I got a bit lower marks than my desired marks or you can say what I what I wanted. I deserved around 160 marks, but just got 140 marks. So don't do this mistake. So don't be underconfident as well as overconfident. Even if you have completed syllabus, then solve questions as much as possible. 
I hope you have learned something from this particular video. Write down those five points in your notebook and implement them. And you will see your change in mock test marks as well as in real JEE main marks after two months. If you have any doubt, then do mention in the comment section. I would like to make video on that too. Thank you.